Jesus in today's gospel passage teaches us how to respond if a brother sins against us. Jesus provides four steps. First, we are to speak directly to our brother about his fault without anyone else present. If our brother does not repent, then we are to bring one or two others along with us. According to Jesus, this additional person or persons are to act as witnesses. Here comments Bram Petrie, Jesus is citing from Deuteronomy chapter 19, which states, A single witness shall not prevail against a man for any crime or for any wrong in connection with any offense that he has committed. Only on the evidence of two witnesses or three shall a charge be sustained. The purpose of the witnesses is to ensure that no person is a no person is condemned based on a single person's accusation. According to this passage from Deuteronomy, only if two or three witnesses to the crime all claim that a person has committed a crime, may that person be condemned. The purpose of this ruling is to protect the innocent, to ensure that all are innocent until proven guilty, based on the testimony of multiple people and not just one person. Jesus provides a third step if the brother does not repent of his sin even after two or three people who witnesses his sin have confronted him with his sin. The third step is, says Jesus, to tell the church. In other words, the brother's sin is to be brought to the attention of the whole community, with the hope that the brother will repent. If the brother still does not repent, then the fourth and final step is to treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. As Petrie comments, to interpret this final step correctly, we are to remember who taught us this final step. Jesus taught us this final step of treating our brother as you would a Gentile or tax collector. How did Jesus relate to Gentile and tax collectors who were hated during the time of Jesus? Jesus reached out to them and prayed for them, hoping that one day they would convert to his peaceful, truthful, loving ways. One important tax collector who was hated by his Jewish people listened to Jesus, repented of his evil ways, and became one of Jesus' 12 apostles and is believed to have composed the gospel, which is to where today's gospel comes from. The Gospel of Matthew, we believe, written by Matthew. Today, when our brother sins against us and refuses to repent, even if we follow all the proper steps by first talking to him alone and then talking to him with one or two other witnesses of the sin, and then bringing the issue to the entire community, may we not lose hope but remain steadfast in prayer, remain open to future reconciliation, look for ways, as Jesus did, to reach out to the brother so that the brother can become integrated into our Christian Catholic community as Matthew the tax collector was and countless Gentiles were. May God bless you.